It's about to get real. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly. Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers. Shalom unto you. And as I said, red alert, red alert, entire U.S. supply of diesel engine oil may be wiped out in eight weeks. No more oil until 2023 due to force. I don't even know what that word. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Additive chemical shortage. But I know that that chemical, that M, that M word, that's what caused diesel oil. So the base oil in that M word, that make it diesel. Um, So it's about to get real out here. And the video I made last night. Talks about or um, it's only going to get worse. You know, this is orchestrated chaos. And guess what, man? It's going to continue to get worse. And this is not a joke. This is not a joke because all the sources that I've been looking up on this, because this came out probably like a week ago, this information. But I wanted to make sure. So I went through a whole bunch of sources, a whole bunch of alternative news. People who are whistleblowers, they really saying this is true. Even people who deal with diesel oil, they they can't even get as much as they used to. They've been rationed to them, the people who get oil. So diesel oil. So I just want to say, do you understand what is run? What is ran off of diesel oil? So check it out. So all transportation, you know, special transportation that. You know, bring in the goods, your 18 wheelers, your freight trains, your 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 public busing, your um your barge, which is um a freight, you know, that brings the goods over the, on the sea. And then guess what? Without the trains that bring in coal, which gives you electricity. So all of this is going to stop electricity food and supply chains because without you know the transportation that bring in the goods into the store the stuff that you need guess what store is going to be empty and ain't gonna be no more amazon ain't gonna be no more fedex and ain't gonna be no more ups uh the thing oh construction is ran off of diesel fuel agriculture which is farming that's ran off of diesel fuel everything so basically us is about to be Shut down. <laughs> okay. And then you already know. I always say this every video. A lawless society is coming. A purge is coming. Why? Because they orchestrate in this to bring the people down to their knees for a solution. And that's going to be the Karagma, Revelation 13 and 16. But the point is that so all these things ain't going to be no more ambulance. and ain't going to be no more fire trucks. Do you understand how much stuff is ran off of diesel fuel? Pretty much every damn thing construction so but going back to you know the diesel freight trains um which like i said the coal you know what i'm saying that that deals with electricity so yeah man blackouts remember they a uh, matter of fact remember they've been talking about blackouts all summer you know but i'm just gonna read look a, a paragraph for this so it said as if we all need is something else. <laughs> See, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Shah. I'm happy. To add to our worries, a potential catastrophic situation is emerging that threatens to wipe out the entire supply of diesel engine oil across the United States, leaving a country with no diesel engine oil until 2023. Then it said, this isn't merely a rumor. We confirm this is happening and it's very, very true. So they said from four to eight weeks. So what? That's July, August. All right. So shit, by October, November, man, it's going to be really, really bad out here. It could really be bad. Well, I mean, like I said, if it happens next month, then August is going to be bad. And if it happened in August, October going to be bad because I, I give about 30 days before people really, really start panicking, you know. So, you know, the Lord prophesied about this. Call it the beginning of sorrows. And it's going to continue to get worse. As the scripture says in Ecclesiastes 7 and 8, the end of a thing is better than the beginning of it. 
So the end is when the elect is going to be beamed up out of this hell hole, man. And New Jerusalem come down from heaven, as it say in Revelation 21, which I hope to be a part of. But yeah, it's about to get worse, man. So the diesel engine, you know, to, to summarize it, the diesel fuel, which is ran off a lot of things, that's going to that's going to um, interrupt the electronic grids, food supply, and supply chain, your everyday needs, toilet paper, soap, uh, cleaning supplies, whatever you know, clothing. Yeah, it's getting real out here. So. Second Edris 16 and 17. Hopefully you can see this is small. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who should deliver me in those days? So now we in those days, you know, the Lord gave Ezra a, vis a vision into the future. And he saw himself. See, he said who should deliver him in, in those days. He know now he's here. He know he's going to depend on Yahweh Bashem Shai, but it's going to get bad. Uh, First Peter's 4 and 18. It said that the righteous to scarcely be saved. So about the skin of your teeth, man. And it said the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. So it said the beginning of sorrows, great mornings, beginning of famine and great death. That's what all this is going to cause. That's going to cause blackouts, no electricity, no coal. No coal is going to be on the trains to deliver to where it got to go. All right. Oh, that's going to stop jobs because guess what? Your job ain't going to have no energy. Your job ain't going to have no coal and no diesel fuel to uh, for the conveyor belts and the assembly lines to run shit, the the the, elect, uh, the building to run, you know, because the building is ran off of energy. Everything is off of energy, even farming. So, like I said, all this is going to cause uh, the survival of the fish, you know, oh, I don't got that. He got that. I want that because I'm starving. Ain't nobody going to have morals in that day. People barely got morals now. So it says, in the power of stand in fear, the beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? Ezra, know now. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent, scourges for amendment. So all the reason that these things is happening because the Lord is punishing this place for the iniquity. Scripture said that their sins have reached up to heaven. Talk about Babylon the Great. But the whole world in general, but the main hub of wickedness is the golden cup in the Lord's hand, which made the earth drunken off the wine of her fornication, Babylon the Great. And it says, but for all these things that should not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. So when these things start happening, they're not going to understand why it's happening. And I'm going to tell you why it's happening, because the Lord is tired of y'all wicked asses. And he got something to say. It's time to set up his kingdom where righteousness is going to dwell and people are going to rejoice. As the saying in Proverbs 29 and 2, the righteous are in authority. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. A lot of mourning is coming because the wicked rules and they are orchestrating this to bring the people down to their knees for they can give you a solution of the karagma, the electronic imprint, because they about to do away with the dollar. All right. So before they do all that, they got to cause order out of chaos. All right. They cause the problem, get a reaction and already have the solution on deck. Everything leads to the C, to the H, to the I, to the P. This is real serious. And it's a beautiful time to rejoice if you are in the truth. All right. So, yeah, man, it's about to get real out here in the next months. So hopefully this video is edifying. And Shalom, stay prayed up.